I've been using the Mini 3 Pro a lot in the last month. It is a workhouse with plenty of interesting functionalities that does everything well, very solid and reliable. With the first firmware release of a new model, there are always a few issues to iron out, and DJI has proven to be able to fix them promptly via firmware updates. So far I only encountered two main issues. The first is a tendency to crash the shadows in video, but I have identified the cause and I should be able to sort it out soon. The main issue I have is the extremely poor signal transmission and it is so bad that I cannot use this drone properly at the moment. Obviously the quality of the transmission varies from place to place. And at the moment there are plenty of reports on the web of users who have serious issues, like me, while others seem to be perfectly happy with their unit. According to many users, the culprit could be the new RC remote controller with a built-in screen and the internal antennas. So far I never done a range test because I'm not interested in reaching distance of several kilometers with a drone. Is not allowed by regulations and can be dangerous. In most cases, for footage and photos, I remain within 500 meters, which is well inside visual line of sight. Only occasionally I need to push the distance to 7 or 800 meters, which is about 2500 feet. So far, all drones of the DJI prosumer line have been able to supply good transmission at this distance in most environments, including the first Bavic Mini. The best model I've ever used in thermal transmission is the Otel Nano Plus. I have not lost the signal a single time with it. In this video I will show you several tests of signal transmission with the Mini 3 Pro using different settings with the two remote controllers the new RC with a built-in screen and the traditional RC N1 supplied with other models of the DJI line. I hope this video can help users who are experiencing transmission issue with the Mini 3 Pro. Give us a big thumb up if you find this video interesting. I will start from a place that I use constantly for my tests. It is an area at the foothills of Mount Etna with plenty of little villages one next to the other. It is not a big town, but there are houses all around with a good deal of interference. Here in southern Italy, people use mobile phone practically 24 hours a day, even while they sleep. There are also some big telecommunication antennas, so it is an area with relatively strong interference. Several times I've taken shots from these two locations to compare different models in which case I have to push the distance a bit farther, up to 600 to 700 meters. With other models, only a couple of times I've experienced signal failures, mostly with the Mavic 3, but the issue was quickly fixed by a firmware update. Recently I've done several videos comparing the Mini 3 with other models for photography, and I noticed that with the Mini 3 I could not get anywhere near the same two locations. I would get constantly disconnected. Let's start the test with a new RC controller, flying in the usual direction. Let's go to the settings in the tab transmission. We have a choice amongst three different possibilities. By default the new controller is set to dual band, in which case the most suitable frequency is automatically chosen between 2.4 and 5.8 GHz. We can also set manually one of the two frequencies. In theory, 2.4 is the one allowing the longest distance, but it is more sensitive to interference. In other words, it should be the one to use for flying at maximum distances in rural areas. 5.8 GHz should be the one to use in urban areas or other situations with strong interference. Let's have a go using the dual band default mode. Keep an eye on the two indicators, the distance from the home point at the bottom in the middle and the signal strength at the top right. 
This is the direction, and at a distance of only 70 meters, we can see that the signal is worsening. Mm, not good. I increase the elevation, which in general gives a slightly better signal, but again, at 140 meters of distance, the signal goes down a lot. At 200 meters, the bar turns red, which means that the signal is almost lost. After several warnings of a weak signal, we somehow managed to get to 430 meters. And then the drone is disconnected and initiates a return to home. I have tried several times the same route using the dual band setting, and the average distance I could reach was 400 to 450. Let's try now using the frequency of 5.8 GHz. This time I get disconnected at 300 meters, even worse. At 2.8 GHz I get slightly better results, as I can reach 450 meters before being disconnected. Well, it is understandable, the little boy is afraid to go far away on his own. Several users claim that the transmission issue is partly due to the internal RLs of the new controller. So let's have a go with the traditional RCN1. I connect it with a tablet and pair it to the Mini 3. As you can see, I start losing some bars very quickly, but the aircraft keeps going farther and I finally lose connection at 600 meters, which is still very bad, but slightly better than the distance I could get with the new RC. So, in a crowded environment with plenty of interference, my drone is barely useful. I would certainly not take it with me when shooting for work. Dual band is probably the setting giving slightly better results, and the traditional RCN1 controller is slightly better than the new one. But what about flying in a rural environment without interference? So I pack the drone and controller and head to Mighty Mount Etna, in a very remote area with no buildings. Surely I should get a better range. Here we are, I set the transmission to dual band and I'm ready to go. As you can see there is nothing around, we really are in the middle of nowhere, we should have no interference at all. It is roasting hot and the light conditions are horrible, but it doesn't really matter for our test. I start flying in the direction of these old craters and I start to lose a few bars at a distance of 200 meters. At 320 the bars turn red, which is not a nice sight at all. I raise the altitude and the bars go back to yellow. They got back to red at 500 meters, and I managed to reach 750 meters before I get disconnected. It is still the worst performance ever in any drone I tried, but it is a distance that suits my needs on most occasions. I have no intention at all to bash the poor little Mini 3. As I said earlier, it does very well in a lot of different situations. In the first release of the firmware, a few weak points are to be expected, and I'm confident that DJI will fix the issue very soon. Click on this link to watch my other videos about the Mini 3, and don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Thank you.